So everyone raise a pint because today is National Beer Day. And a little fun fact, beer is the third most consumed beverage in the world, only behind water and tea. What? Where did coffee end up on that uh, one? Holly yeah. and I are going to demand a recount I on like that. that and <laughs> leading the way with some of our favorite beers in Cleveland is Great Lakes Brewing Company. Austin Love is live there this morning to give us some insight into how their beer is made. I see you by the big, big brew kegs right behind you. Absolutely, in the bottles of Great Lakes, this is where all of that sweet, sweet beer nectar comes from, right here at Great Lakes Brewing Company. But here's a little interesting fact. So if you're wondering, like, why is this National Beer Day? It's an important day. So April 7th, 1933, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, he, signed, he took the first steps toward ending prohibition by uh, signing into law that allowed beer to be made and sold in public. So cheers to you, Mr. Roosevelt, but also cheers to our friend uh, Mark Hunger right now, who is the brew brewmaster here here at Great Lakes Brewing Company. He's behind all of your favorite beers here. So, so cheers to you as well. We appreciate your service. Cheers. cheers. And you've been here for a long, long time since what, 1997 is when you said you came on board? January 97 is when I started here. What have you seen change during that time as far as beer goes in Great Lakes Brewing Company? A lot. Uh, it went from fairly basic European styles to sky's the limit right now. All kinds of different stuff going on right now. Sure, and I feel like in the past, you know, five, ten years, you guys have gotten really experimental, and and this is really where all of the magic happens. Tell us a little bit about, about th this room. It's what the tank farm you call it? Tank farm or cellar? Uh, we've got over 40 tanks down here. Fermentation, or well, different stages of fermentation, uh, fermenters, and what we call bright tanks, uh, where the filtered beer goes into and we package from. So there's a lot of a lot of gallons of beer down here. So, yeah, I mean, looking at this guy, I mean, first off, how much does this hold? This thing's huge. This is a 300-barrel tank. So uh, a barrel, it, it, uh, a keg is a half a barrel. Okay. So this is 600 barrels worth of beer. That's a heck of a party. That's yeah, a party. All right, so this one is where you can actually get some freshly poured beer. And also, uh, Flat Dave over here is getting in on the party as well. I don't know if he can take down, what, you said 600 kegs or 300 kegs, something like that? Uh, 600 kegs, yeah. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, so, but this right here is the spigot where you can just get some of the freshest beer. I, I think I'm up for a beer. I'm breaking my rule. My cardinal rule is that I don't drink until my 6 a.m. Uh, hit, but I, I think, uh, do, do, we have, do we have a little taster glass over here? Right this, here. this is the guy. So, uh, Mr. Hunger, why, why don't we jump in here? It's, and I, I told him, uh, so Mark, Mark's last name is Hunger. I go, how many times have you been told that your last name should have been Thirsty? Ha, 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 ha. But regardless, here we go. I think that, a little that, angle there. A little angle. Oh, my bad. That, oh, what a rookie move. Oh, rookie miss. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that, that, was, that was my bad. Gosh, Mark just oh, called me out. For, that brought me back to my Sigma Chi days right now. He just oh, said, boy. are you back in college? So uh, not in college, but <laughs> oh, cheers to you guys. We're going to be going back in the brew, uh, brew keg a little bit later. And we're, there's an <laughs> underground river of beer under the, the road here that connects this area to the brew mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be talking about that as well. But, hey, a river of beer, 600 kegs, <laughs> whatever it is, we're partying today, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if we're going Cheers. back to Austin at 6. We might not want to. We might want to save your career there, buddy, and just... Uh... That's just the first, huh? <laughs> right. I don't think that's the first. I think that's a big, <laughs> big lie. Share some with Flat Dave, and then yeah. we'll see you again at what 6. What are you talking about? What are you talking... All right. Just spreading rumors All here. Right. All right. <laughs> Cool place over there, no doubt. I have been inside. It is interesting, no question. And speaking of beer, at Northeast Ohio Brewery is helping some of their fellow beer makers thousands of miles away in Ukraine. The Pravda Beer Company, located in Lviv, released recipes from their award-winning Victory Series brew as a way for other breweries to help them raise relief funds. When the Catawba Island Brewing Company heard about it, they jumped at the chance to help the beer called Slava Ukraini or Glory to Ukraine. It will be available in stores and at the brewery this Saturday. And uh, I think, you know, Holly today, mm -hmm. obviously with Austin and seeing that story, yeah. we could have a few of those. It's Friday Eve. I'm just glad I was able to pronounce it. <laughs> now that I'll drink good. it. That was good.